Hi everyone, it's Adele here with my killer kit video for the Scrappery February kits. So this is all I have left of the Bits and Pieces kit Valerie, the Pretty Little Kit Juliet and the Scrappery kit Bella. So let's have a little looky at what is left. So paper wise, I've only got a couple of tiny little bits not really worthy of another layout so these will just go straight into my scraps and I'll use them very soon sticker wise now I already had a sticker of these kiss kiss stickers so I put them together and that's what I have left so I have a lot of these happy Valentine's Day ones because I didn't really scrap any I didn't really take any Valentine's pictures and still got a couple of tags but all in all not very much left at all so these I'm going to cut up and put in my embellishment containers next up with the letters now there were so many letters in this kit it was amazing so I didn't get to use a lot of these um, white letters I've still got well it's a bit hard to see what I've used anyway but I've used some of them I only use them for one layout I think so I'm going to have a play around with those these I use the butt load out of um, not many left there's few, I still could still make quite a few words and there's heaps of numbers, which is great. I'll save those up for Project Life, for the um, dates there. And I've still got lots of O's. So what I'll probably do with these is put them in my stash for a bit longer. And then when it gets to a point where I haven't got many vowels left, I'll just make some words and stick them on a bit of, um, stick them on this and put it in my stash. And I only have two of these beautiful, whoa, why aren't you focusing? Sorry. Um, I've only got two of these little words left, smile and cute, and they'll be used up very shortly. And then with the, I think that was the Bella Rouge, what I did is, I did a bit of an experiment. You'll see it soon in the layout review. But what I did is with my leftover letters, I've picked out some words. So I've got beautiful bun, Miss you in here, love always, XOXO, and then these are numbers and symbols. And I'll show you what I did with the rest of the letters later on. So these will just go with my thickers. Embellishment wise, I've got a few bits and pieces, some of these puffy. I didn't have many photos that had this, needed the bright pink, so I went with a lot of the softer pink, so I'll save these up for later. Project life cards, I haven't got many left. Five left, five and a half. Um, not many rub-ons. To tell you the truth, I probably will chuck out. I might put use that wreath in the next week or so, but chuck out the rest because I don't have any Valentine's Day pictures and rub-ons don't really last. I've only got the couple of little hearts, a couple of these because I didn't use a lot of turquoise, so I'm saving those up. And still got quite a few of the embellishments. So I'll leave those on my desk and keep using them. All right, now, I am so freaking proud of the layouts that I did, can I just say. I can't believe how many I did. So I managed to do, how many, eight, I think it was. Sorry. Camera's having a bit of a day. There we go. Um, I managed to do eight and... I was really annoyed this is the only one that I did a process video for which will be up on the scrappery should be up by now maybe I don't know but it will be up um, it's the only one that I did a process video because the others I did like a binge late at night the others I did six in one night like I was just on fire um, but I didn't record any of them and they're really pretty so and one of them is really cool I'll show you it's the second last one so anyway this is the first one it's called because I'm happy and it's a wedding photo my husband and I our um leaving the ceremony song was happy by Pharrell Williams so I wrote because I'm happy there from my stash um and I just wrote some of the lyrics around the outside used my heart punch to cut out some of the paper now I used the kiss kiss six by six pad from my stash for these because it coordinated with the big pieces and I didn't want to waste them um, use some of the embellishments bra uh, flare from my stash the XOXO thickers and some gelatos and I'm really happy I'll give you a bit of a close-up 
Super happy of how that turned out. Looks like confetti. I made about 600 homemade pom-poms for people to throw. You can see some of them on the floor here. Um, for people to throw for our, um, as we left the aisle. So that's the first one because I'm happy. Next up I have this layout which I really like. This is of my, my two sister-in-laws and I looked at, um, Wilna Furstenberg had a layout ages ago where she painted part of it black and then wrote in white writing and when I saw this paper I knew I wanted to give that a go so I just cut uh, I think about four inches maybe a bit more um, and then layered some of the embellishments from the bits and pieces kit, the scrappery kit, the pro project life kit, everything, pretty little kit, everything and then just did some ink splatters down here because it was looking a bit empty so here's a bit of a close-up. Wow, sorry. Really happy with how this turned out. Used some flowers for my stash. I thought that was really sweet too. So just a nice simple one. And I guess the title for this is just love. I didn't want to put a big, I was playing around with putting um, the gray Belle Rouge adore up here, but it just, you know what I mean, tilted the symmetry off. That's what that means, tilted the symmetry off. Um, so that's layout number two. This is number three, it's called Duck Face Divine. And this is my silly husband and I doing a duck face. Now it's called a pout, but we call it a duck face because you look like a duck. Um, so I just used a whole heap of the rub-ons from the bits and pieces kit and then mixed some gelatos up on the side and then washed them over the top. Really easy. This one actually took me about 15 minutes, if that. So I just did the rub-ons. I did this first and then didn't stick it down, but I, I had it all connected together. Um, and then did the rub-ons, did the wash, stuck that down, stuck a bit of trim, title, boom, done. So super quick and super easy. And I thought it was nice, the white on white title for something different so it kind of blended in um, and I don't mind that that ink blot had a bit of an excited moment and got everywhere <laughs> um, and just put a bit of that trim from the specialty paper in the scrappery kit so that's number three number four I wanted to show that you don't have to use boy colors for boy layouts this is a picture of hubby and little bunny Frida um, and because it was lovey and nice, I thought it was fine to use the pinks. Now, if you're going to use pinks for a boy photo, I think it's really nice to put it in black and white because it just, I don't know, it just works. I find that if you try and do pinks with a coloured photo, a boy photo, it kind of looks like you're trying a bit too hard sometimes. Not all the time, but just, I don't know. I had it coloured to start off with and it just wasn't working. So, um just did um I used a bit more of that wash this is when I did six layouts in a row um layered a few bits off cuts here a couple of rub-ons some of the vellum pieces and the thickest a really easy quick layout with this one as well there's a close-up I love these stinking cute Brad thingies. I wish I had millions of them. Oh, you know, cute. So that's layout number. What are we up to? One, two, three, four. Now we're on to five. Now this one was towards the end and I was running low on papers. So I decided to cut my papers into strips. I had a lot of the manufacturer strips left over as well. Um, so what I do first. So step one, I got some packaging and sprayed some of my Heidi Sh Swap Color Shine. It's the coral color. I don't know what it's called. It might be called coral. It would make sense if it was called coral. Um, sprayed it on the packaging and then kind of smoshed it everywhere, like I've seen um, a writ do on YouTube. Then I got some of the leftover gelatos and just kind of painted it over the top. 
Then I did some dropping with the ink drops um, and then I started putting on all my papers. So just a whole lot of papers and then just a main photo over here with a couple of layer, a couple of layers underneath. And I like how the black is kind of like a triangle. I think that was it. If I'd only had these papers, I think they would have really stood out. But I think with the ink drops and then a little bit of stamping here, it all kind of ties in a little bit. Don't you love my hand movements this afternoon? I feel very game show. Ta-da! Um, so that's number five. So lots of different strips. Some of them I did the fantail end to. Some of them I didn't. I just kind of plonked them wherever, really. <laughs> It was not much thinking, just kind of put them down. And I thought love story was cute because we have had a major love story here. They hated each other for a year, like bit chunks of hair out of each other and, oh, shocking. And now they're friends and they're both girls. So they're, they're in a bit of a, a lovey relationship, my two little girls. Next up, uh, this is number six. Six. Yep, number six. Um, and this is my grade partner, my other kindy teacher at school. And I just wanted to do a top based layout, use up some of the bigger embellishments because I found that Kiss Kiss packet was great. It had a lot of bigger things like this U plus me plus equals always and the big heart. Um, and we, we always say that we're BFFs. So the title is Best Friends Forever. And this was a nice one. I did. I think I did the gelato wash first um, and then kind of just let it form. I mixed the, the two fonts here and these flowers are from my stash. Um, used the bow up here and then balanced it with some more black down here and I thought the dark of the photo was another triangle. That's not a triangle, is it? There we go. Um, so I thought that was handy. Now, get ready for my favourite layout. Are you ready? Oh, how cool is that? I used up my leftover letters. So this was really fun and it was done at midnight. So may have been slightly delirious while doing it. But what I did after I sorted out um, some of those words that I could use again, I got all of the other leftover letters and I stuck them down on a piece of white cardstock. Then I did layer after layer after layer of gesso. I think I did about seven layers and just hair dried it in between. Um, and I freaking love the outcome. Like what a good way to use up leftover thickers and things. I'm going to do a process video on my channel soon. Um, I've got some thickers waiting to get destroyed. So, I mean, repurposed. Don't tell them I said destroyed. They'll, their feelings will get hurt. So just did the letters at the top. And I was going, I was considering them painting them in gold, but I thought that would be too much. So just a bit of washi from my stash. And then these are all heart rub-ons that I was hoarding from the um, bits and pieces kit. And then a couple of bits of paper. Super, super happy. Now have a look at that. Mmm, isn't that nice? Yes. And then I just, I drew the little strings too. They didn't come with strings. So I just drew those with my Sharpie pen. And a little bit down the bottom. And then layout number eight. I was really scrounging for stuff at this point. Um, so I did a lot of rabbit layouts. Like... A lot. I think it's because I love them and they're all lovely and cute and fluffy and they just worked out. Um, so I just matted it on a couple of the papers, added a doily and I wanted to try and use up some of these stickers. Oh, this is tricky. If you can't use those Happy Valentine's Day, take out the Valentine's and you've just got Happy Day. Boom! Cheating the system of the stickers. Um, I really like the way these ink dots went out. I keep forgetting. There's a way to splat them and I always forget. I think, I think I go like that. Cause if you go like, just like that, you get really blobby high ones. But if you actually tap it down, you get these ones that kind of splat out. 
had a bit of an explosion over here though so we covered that one up with a wood veneer which you can always do um i called it hello frizzy her name's frida but we call her frizzy sometimes because i didn't have any e's left <laughs> i would have called it hello frida but alas i could not um so yeah really super happy with these layouts i think this was the most i've ever got out of a kit um and i feel like i've still got heaps left that i could mix in with my stash so we've got Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now these are all for different parts in the album so it's not like one week is going to be all kiss kiss and pink and lovey so that's for my wedding album that's for 2014 um that's for the end of 2014 then you've got 2015 and yeah so they're quite spread out there's lots of layouts in between so thanks for watching everyone and please check out the scrappery i'll put the link below um check out the kids they're freaking beautiful i subscribe to all three because i can't choose and i'm really looking forward to next month's kits i've heard a whisper that there's some crepe paper there's some confetti coming and i'm super excited so please give me a like give, give us a thumbs up if you like this video um, and if you want to see more killer kit videos i'm really enjoying doing them at the moment all right thanks for watching everyone bye